Hello audience, Vadiwa here, and welcome to another episode of Follow From Body View Boopocalypse. Victoria is gonna need some people to guard Vadiwa while he's in prison. We have some settlers that could do the job, but I think we should at least get to know their names before Weldy get killed by Vadiwa in the near future when he escapes, because, well, the settlers are kind of like red shirts in Star Trek, so they are expected to die, and Vadiwa is expected to escape in the near future. We have What's Your Name by Pra, and if you're living in the settlement, you might as well know who you're living with. Now, with the modern style, you can go to any generic NPC and ask them what their name is. Uh, his name is Dan, kind of like Lieutenant Dan from Forrest Gump, right? Lieutenant Dan, ice cream! Now, Jones right here isn't a generic NPC, so we can't really ask him his name. In Sanctuary Hills, I do have some hookers that I kind of, you know, want, want to get to know a little bit better, if you guys know what I mean. Hello there, baby cakes, what's your name? <laughs> Wendy, huh? Now, wasn't there a hooker in Breaking Bad named Wendy? The mod works for any generic sellers, including robots. Uh, Mr. Handy here is gonna be Randy. I make you Randy. Now, Nico, huh? Nico, it's Roman. Let's go bowling. Now, there are a few hundred names that can be given to random non-essential NPCs that are for female, male, or unisex, and sometimes there is a chance to have the same names, like right here, we have Annabelle and Annabelle. Double the fun. Okay, Vadiwa is gonna be well guarded by these hookers, you know, he has to spend some time here and think about what he did. And Chung, hmm, Chung doesn't really look Chinese at all, oh well. Now, we're also looking for Curry, who disappeared after she turned Rebby into Victoria. We are going to need a weapon for protection. We have vintage submachine gun by Devious Methods and it introduces a gun that will blend into the game very well. Now the vintage submachine gun kind of looks like a weapon that belongs in Fallout 4 with its wooden body and worn out metal barrel and receiver. The submachine gun's actual name is the M50 and to me I thought it was kind of like a semi-automatic rifle. Now it has a semi-automatic and automatic firing modes and it can be attained by fighting it from looting enemies. The M50 can be modded a few different ways guys, uh, but right here is all the different colors and paint jobs for the body of the weapon. Now for me, I think I like the flower paint job the most just because, well, you can pretty much blend into nature much more easier. You will be invisible to everyone while hiding behind some vegetation. I also like the atomic cocktail paint job just because it goes very well with the radiation theme of the game. Now I'm going to be firing the M50 in third person and first person view. It is in automatic mode and it's relatively accurate. I think I'm gonna need some stronger looking followers because they look very fragile and thin and can be pushed around like Kate right here. We have Kate as female half super mutant by DLXXX and it's the hottest preset that you can get for Kate. Now Kate is now looking like a female version of the Hulk and she kind of reminds me also of Sarah Kerrigan from the game Starcraft, you know, after she got infested by the Zerg. When you install the mod, there are plenty of different customizations that you can do. We can choose between three different skin colors and tattoos. She can have some glossy wet looking skin or normal looking skin. We can add face paint or no face paint and we can customize the color of her, of her eyes, her hairstyle, and the color of her hair. Now since Kate has a custom body, she can only wear clothing that can fit her, especially since she's so muscular and buff. And at the chemistry station or at the combat zone, you can find everything that she's gonna need to wear. Now there is quite a few different variations that you can have Kate wear and for me, I think I kinda prefer that she wears the smallest amount of clothing to show off her new body because what's the point guys? <clears throat> you need to talk. What are your thoughts on our relationship? Things are going great, and they keep getting better. I hope it lasts. We can kind of make her look very badass by adding some more armor parts to her and some very deadly looking thunderclaws. Yeah. 
Now, if you think having one Super Mutant follower is hot, then having two is gonna be flaming hot, guys. Flaming hot. We have Scotty, female half Super Mutant, standalone companion by DLXXX, and you can now double the fun. Now, Scotty can be found at the Good Neighbor Hotel, you know, Ho Hotel Rexford, and she's almost the same as a half Super Mutant Kate, except she doesn't talk, she's kinda mute. Nobody's keeping you here. Now she has the same clothing that's available for Kate, and she also has the same installer for the one for Kate where you can customize her. Now I would really want to make like a pickle sandwich right now if you guys know what I mean, you know, a nice pickle sandwich with uh, Kate and Scotty right here, yes indeed. I think we are gonna need something to help us cover more ground in our search for curry. We have Tsukiji card by M150 and it's definitely the best way to travel around in the Commonwealth. There is actually a custom workstation that can be placed down and can be built and M150 is very well known for making custom workstations to craft the items from any of his mods. How it works is very simple, you just find the relay grenades and then you want to just draw it like a grenade and it will spawn a Tsukiji card and you just press E to write it around and if you want to write a different card then all you have to do is draw down another relay grenade down and the previous one will turn back into a relay grenade. Now there are about 9 different cards that have its own unique theme to it and I really wish that I could like spawn like a couple of them at the same time so I can make my followers use them as well. Oh hey, I think we found Curry right here, however, she looks a little bit different. Now, if you want to see what she looks like, make sure to bang the like and subscribe button, bang it good. Now, she will have a new look in the next episode. I would like to thank a few of my hardcore supporters, you know, thank you Mr. Mangar, MegFreakX3, Maximiliano, Brad, and Robin Ellis. Thank you for all the new people that's helping me keep this mod series going. Well then, stay sexy my friends, stay sexy.